Okay, you guys, I just got access to Sora and I'm super excited because they've been teasing this tool for a very, very long time. And it's a great time of the year to actually get access to it. So I actually waited a few hours. It kept saying that I cannot create an account because the server was too busy. So I literally got access a couple of minutes ago. And the only thing I uh, looked through is the little uh, welcome video that very quickly shows me how to use this dashboard uh, down here. So what this is the dashboard. So once you sign in, this is what you're going to see. The top part is basically the videos that have already been created and stored um, in the dashboard. So these are the recent ones. Then you've got the featured ones. So I'm supposing the, feature, the featured ones are the ones that OpenAI has deemed as some of the best ones. And then if you have saved any of the videos from the recent or the featured, uh, they will appear in here. Underneath is your own library. I'm just gonna click on recent so I'm not looking at the black screen where you will store all your videos. And again, if you have any of your videos that you favorite, you'll see them here and then all your downloads. And underneath here are all your folders. So you can put everything in different folders so it's not a complete mess uh, in your library once you start having large volume of videos. All right, so down below here is where we're going to be working with. So before we start, I just wanted to have a look at this storyboard. So you can start with a storyboard. I'm just going to click on it. Okay, um, it, you can actually start with uh, uh, the prompt here and possibly, okay, so here's what you can do. You can actually do it scene by scene. So these five seconds, instead of me just giving it a normal prompt going, this is what I wanna see in five seconds, I can give it second by second. So it could be um, a woman walks on the street, then a woman walks into a store, then a woman looks at, um, I don't know, um, address in the store. So this is what I'm assuming, I don't know, this is just what I'm assuming. And I will definitely create a new video about the dashboard and how to, about the, sorry, the storyboard and how to use it. I just need to actually play with it. But we're going to go back. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to just give it one simple prompt. Uh, and uh, you can either do text to video, which is the prompt, or you can actually upload an image and create image to video like you have probably done with other tools. All right, so I'm going to give it a, a very simple um, a prompt, which is what are buffaloes running through a river in the African savanna at dusk? Nothing fancy. Uh, that's just because we want to test it. Uh, now, the next thing is the presets. Uh, OpenAI did say that they will be improving Sora in the coming weeks and months. So I'm assuming these are the first presets that they have given us and they're only like five. So uh, you have, you can either use none of them. You can use balloon world, stop motion, archival, film noir and cardboard and paper craft. I'm kind of not feeling it for any of them. I might try film noir a little bit later, but at the moment I'm just gonna leave it as none. Then we have the aspect ratio and we only have three aspect ratios. So we have 16 by nine, the square one and nine by 16, which is the vertical one. What else do we have? We have the resolution. Uh, okay, so here's something to keep in mind. If you are on the plus account like me, I'm still on my plus account. I can only create videos that are up to 720 pixels in resolution. If I sign up for the new pro account, which is $200 a month, and they announced that yesterday, I believe, I can uh, actually unlock the 1080 resolution. So if you are somebody that is making money with videos, I would definitely look into signing up for the much more expensive pro account. The next thing we have in here is the duration. 
Uh, okay, by the looks of it, again, so uh, with my Plus account, I can have a maximum of 10 seconds duration. If you are paying for the Pro account, you can go for up to 20 seconds, which is huge. I am not entirely sure how many other tools have this massive duration, but, um, and I'm pretty sure the more they improve the tool, the higher um, I mean, the longer duration we are going to get. But with me, I'm stuck with either five seconds or 10 seconds. And the next thing we have is the variations. Okay, again, if I want four variations, like if you've used um, Kling or any of the other image to video or text to video uh, tools, you've, you're probably used to having four variations. However, Sora is only giving us two variations with our plus account and only the pro accounts will get four variations. And the last thing here is this little question mark that says creating, uh, creating will use 50 credits at, with current settings. So, okay, let me see if I go for 10 seconds, is it going to change? Okay, so if I go for 10 seconds, it will change to 100 credits. What if I go to 750? Oh, look at this. So if I go to 750 resolution, that just changed. I don't know if you saw guys, but now my only option is one video, one video. So I'm going to, and what about the duration? Okay. At 750, I can only have five seconds and one variation. So this is something important to remember. I'm going to drop it back down to 480. And now I can, yeah, I'm not going to change it to 10. I'm going to stay with five and I'm going to change it to two variations again. And once we're happy with um, our settings and with our prompt, all we need to do is click on this arrow that says create video and it will create our video. As you can see, it's added into the queue and uh, it will take a little bit of time. So I'm going to stop and wait until it's ready. And I'm going to come back as soon as those videos are ready. Okay, finally, it's ready. It only took like just over half an hour to generate, but as you guys can see, it's actually pretty good. Um, it doesn't look like AI generated. It's, and this is like my very first prompt with Sora. So if I sit down and, um, you know, I think of something more creative, I'm pretty sure I can come up with some super cool stuff. So uh, what we have down here is we can revise the prompt and create a new video, which we're not going to do because I don't want to sit and wait for another half an hour. Uh, but then we can look at, Oh, what did just happen? Sorry. We can also view the story. Uh, oh, wow. Look at these prompts. Wow. So we can actually continue with this story and continue creating a movie. But look at this prompt. I just said, you know, what a buffalo is running through a river in the African savannah, but... This one is, as, as dust settles over the African savannah, a herd of water buffaloes charges through a wide, shallow river. The setting, the setting sun casts a golden hue across the landscape, reflecting off the rippling water. The buffalo's powerful legs kick up sprays of water as they move in uh, unison, their dark silhouettes contrasting against the warm colors of the sky. Acacia trees dot the horizon and distant distant mountain lo loom and distant mountains loom under the fading light enhancing the wild and untamed atmosphere of the scene and here we have another one the herd continues to run creating a dynamic splash of water as it moves through the river this is actually very very cool i do need to explore the storyboard a bit more um but we can uh read cut we can recut variation one or variation two uh, we can remix so it says describe changes and create new videos based on this one so i can actually take this one as my um, skeleton 
and then start creating a lot of other videos, which could be the continuation of my movie. Uh, we can blend transition between this video and another one and we can loop it, which is super good if you want to create these tiny little videos to put on social media or, um, or, or anywhere else, basically. So yeah, this is it, but I just want to have a look at the blend. Um, let's just go with variation one and, oh, this is upload a video. Okay, so I have to upload a video for the blend. And uh, let's have a look at the loop. Okay. This is very, very cool, guys. Um, and what happens is, so after these videos are created, it will all be stored in your videos library. So if I click on all videos and I will see, uh, oh, sorry, this is the first video that got canceled. So I'm going to remove it. Um, so now I have them in here and I can use them whenever I want. Um, I can, what can I do with them? I can download it. I can set it as a favorite. I can add it to a folder, which is really good. Like once you start having lots and lots of videos, these folders will become so important. So each video, especially if you're creating more, vi more than one video to create like a bigger video, which is a three minutes, five minute video and you need lots and lots and lots of these, you know, five to 20 second videos, uh, they will go in a specific folder. Uh, so yeah, if I click favorites and then uh, all the, my favorite videos will be in here. Um, yeah, this is super, super cool guys. So um, I'm going to go and explore the storyboard. I will create a new video about the storyboard uh, maybe next week. And in the meantime, if you have access, uh, if you have access to uh, Sora, go and explore because some of these videos that people have created are incredible, like absolutely incredible. Uh, go and create an account and just start playing. Um, that's how we're all going to learn how to use this new tool by playing around, by testing, by seeing what works and by using, um, you know, uh, the examples that people have given us because I think that Sora is going to blow up in the next days, weeks, and months. And the more, um, the more they improve it, um, the better it will get. And it will basically swallow everybody else and everything else that we have currently on the market.